Hello students. In this video series, we'll be looking at fractions, decimals, and percents. And in particular, we'll start by comparing fractions to each other, comparing decimals, and then finally, we will learn how to convert between fractions, decimals, and percents. So let's get started. Okay, so our first topic is comparing fractions. And there's basically three different types of questions like this. So the first one is when your denominators are the same. And these are normally pretty easy. Like for example, 3 sevenths compared to 1 seventh. So which of those is more? Well, let's think, think of them as pizzas. So if I divide a pizza into seven equal parts and I get three of them, that's obviously going to be more pizza than if I divide a pizza into seven parts and only get one of them. So for the first one, 3 sevenths is greater than 1 seventh. So in general, if the denominator, denominators are the same, whichever numerator is bigger gives you a larger number. Okay, go ahead and do the remaining three questions, please. Okay, let's have a look at this question here. 5 elevenths compared to 9 elevenths. Well, you're better off giving getting nine slices of pizza rather than five slices of pizza since all the slices are the same. So 5 elevenths is smaller than 9 elevenths. If you divide your pizza into quarters, three quarters is more pizza than two quarters. So two quarters is smaller than three quarters. And finally, 5 eighths is bigger than 3 eighths. Okay, let's have a look at the next scenario. This time, the numerators are equal. So what we have to do is look at the denominators. And the question is, if you're going to get two slices of pizza, would you prefer to get a third of a pizza or a fifth of a pizza for each slice? And hopefully it's fairly obvious that if you're chopping a pizza up into thirds, you're going to get more pizza than if you chop a pizza up into fifths. So in this case, two-thirds of a pizza is more than two-fifths of a pizza because the pieces are bigger. In general, the smaller the pieces, so the smaller that, sorry, the bigger the pieces or the smaller that number is going to give you a bigger amount or a bigger fraction than with a larger denominator. So two-thirds is greater than two-fifths. Okay, try the remaining three questions, please. Okay, let's see how you went here. So if you divide a pizza into halves and you get five slices, that's more pizza than if you divide a pizza into quarters. So five quarters is less than five halves. Four sevenths is more than four ninths because you're dividing the pizza into smaller pieces and you're still getting four slices. Okay, in the last question, you're getting six whole pizzas compared to six half pizzas. Well, six whole pizzas is more pizza than six halves of a pizza. So in general, if your, uh, sorry, if your numerator is the same, then the bigger fraction is the one with the smaller denominator because the pieces are bigger. Okay, finally, let's have a look at the situation where the denominators are different and the numerators are different. Now with questions like this, the logical thing to do to start with, the best way to start is to just use a bit of common sense. So for example, let me take uh, this one down here in the bottom left. Which is bigger, 3 eighths or 4 sevenths? Well, if you just look at the fractions, you could say, well, 4 sevenths, that's more than half. 3 eighths is less than half. So 3 eighths is obviously smaller than four sevenths. So don't just apply just a, a rule blindly. You're far better off looking at the fractions and saying, oh, I can see what the answer is. Similarly, with this one here, you might say, well, two thirds and 14 21sts. If I multiply two by seven, I get 14. Three by seven, I get 21. So those fractions are equal. So it only gets a little bit trickier when maybe it's not quite so obvious as to which of those two fractions is the largest, five-sixths or three-quarters. So for the ones that you can't do just using your number sense and your knowledge about fractions, the secret is turn them into a common denominator or turn them into 
a common numerator. So in this case, I've got six sixths and quarters. I can turn them both into twelfths. And six times two is 12, five times two is 10, four times three is 12, three times three is nine. And now it's easy because 10 twelfths is more than nine twelfths. Okay, have a go with the remaining three questions, please. Okay, let's see how you went. Okay, so here we have two-thirds and three-fifths. Now, another way you could do this, if, you, if you're pretty good at converting fractions to percents or fractions to decimals, you could do it that way and say, well, two-thirds is 0.666 recurring. Three-fifths is just 0.6, so that's bigger than that. But let's do this one also the long way where, oops, where we get a common denominator just for practice because the common denominator method will always work. So I can turn both of those into fifteenths. I've got to multiply by five. I've got to multiply by five. I've got to multiply by three. I've got to multiply by three. And 10 fifteenths is more than nine fifteenths. So that's greater than. Okay, I snuck this question in here because it's like the previous video. I'm getting three pieces of pizza. Is it better to have the um, quarter slices or one fifth slices? You're better off getting quarter slices. So three fifths has to be smaller than three quarters. So in this case, the numerators are the same, so we don't have to do any calculations. Okay, and let's finish off with the last one. I've got to convert these to a common denominator, which will be uh, 30ths. I can turn both of those into 30ths. Okay, 6 times 5 is 30, 5 times 5 is 25, 10 times 3 is 30, 8 times 3 is 24, and 25 thirtieths is more than 24 thirtieths. So there's a very quick video on how to compare fractions.